How's it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of I Have No Idea What's Going On With My Life. I'm your host, Hey Yellowfellow, and judging from the title of today's video, you know what's about to happen. So I want you to go grab a giant glass, fill it full of ice, and pop your favorite beverage in there, because it's about to get hot. Roll the intro. They call me yellow because the paint is banana, the clip is banana, I'm going bananas. Look, boy, you a bitch. Get your phones together. Look at him. Then it with us when we was down. Now we coming up together. You can stay in the back, because all up on track, we running it up together. You said we would fly. Now the gang at the top and we don't give a fuck together. Hello, beautiful people. You better go down there and hit that red box before you even think about watching this video. Either way, with that being said, whether you guys are subscribed or not, thank you for tuning into this video. Now, for my returning subscribers, I know this isn't my normal content, but if you're new here, welcome. I hope everyone's keeping their sanity during this quarantine that's going on right now with everybody stuck at the house with nothing to do. And I want to go ahead and address something before I get anything in the comments saying that I'm copying somebody. I doubt you guys have never seen this style of video before, but if you haven't, then I wanted to pay a quick tribute to the channel that this idea came from. If you guys have never seen Drew Peacock, be sure to go check him out. He does a lot of this style of content over on his channel. I've only seen a couple of his videos, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my own spin on the whole roast thing. But enough with the chit chat. I'm gonna go in my kitchen real quick and put my oven mitts on because I'm about to serve it up hot and ready. Let's get it going. So if you managed to suffer through the first roast video, it's apparent that I reused the same intro over again. Like, yeah, duh. What am I gonna do? Make another intro to say the same shit over again? It's two main points. Welcome back to my channel, and here's the guy who came up with this video idea. I'm not gonna say the same shit over again in a completely new intro. But either way, let's go ahead and suffer through these pictures that you geniuses decide to send me in this video. And before anybody says anything, yes, I'm well aware that this is a long ass video, but pull up a chair, grab some snacks, do whatever you gotta do, because you guys asked for this shit. That's why it's called a mega roast. Yeah, as you can see, from this picture I posted on my Instagram, you told me to make it, so uh, it's for you f***ers. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so I'm 99.999% sure the guy who sent me this first submission probably thinks he has an IQ of 160. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and send Hey Yellow Fellow this stock car that he literally can't roast because it's so sexy. Well, guess what, man? You thought wrong. You came to the channel where I make everybody the king of eating shit. I put everybody on a pedestal, and I treat everyone like shit equally. And whether this is a stock photo off the internet, or this is actually your car congratulations because you came to the right place if you wanted it to get shit on and you know what don't get me wrong man i love a hellcat i love this car they're like yellow what can you possibly say about this sexy beast the question is is what's the first thing you should have done before this car even got pulled off the lot why the hell is that pink monstrosity on the front i mean the dealer should get fired for leaving this shit on here do you know what i think every time i see yellow banana guards on a charger i want to vomit in my mouth and i usually do i promise you won't regret taking that shit off if you look on it you'll see to be removed by dealer on it and you'll know that it's supposed to come off the car yo yellow he probably just bought that car and then pulled it off the lot and then just to take a picture of it blah 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 i don't give a shit the dealer should have removed that shit let me know where you bought that car in my dms so i can call up there and have somebody fired from their job number two i do love this car man i do love hellcat and i do love a daytona right best of both worlds yeah not really why the hell would you pay that much extra money for 10 extra horsepower which it probably needs because of that giant ass wide body on the bitch i love chargers man and i love dodge but this shit you got to admit is just getting out of hand like one of these days i'm just gonna wake up and see that you can place an order for a hellcat ta scat pack sxt rt um road and track and sky and air and land and sea edition like oh my god what the fuck is going on with this lineup like i'm about to see a viper magnum come out of the dodge factory like what the fuck is going on with their trim models but either way i could rant about dodge all day much more than just the fucking trim levels but let's go ahead and move on to our next submission i'm tired of looking at this brand new hellcat that looks like it's front lip tea bagged a bottle of pepto bismol yo look at this next guy what the hell does he want me to do to this thing roast it man you sent me a freaking rt what is this a black top edition with some red dodge stripes on the front are you asking me to just go to war with the charger community and just roast this car because if i roast this car dude i got like more than half of the people who buy chargers coming after me i don't know if that's something i really want to take on man everybody already gets butt hurt enough from these roasts and shit and it may be just me because i'm ocd but honestly i don't know about the two stripes guys if you guys have that on your car like please take that off like this car has more stripes than fucking 21 savage all these stripes stripe here stripe there stripes down the hood stripes down the roof stripes on the bumper like what are you trying to do get fucking sponsored by adidas homie and i would do something a little bit more to spice it up maybe let people know that it's a 5.7 maybe throw some 345 badges on there or something because if you hadn't dm'd me this and i hadn't gone to check out your instagram real quick i would think that this was an sxt so if we're looking for shit to make fun of i would go ahead and fix those things so do you think this next guy sent this submission and thinking i couldn't bruise his ego because his car is already black and blue i mean i don't really know what to say man you sent me a picture of a stock car just like 
like a hundred other people in my DMs right now. I mean, there's probably a few things I could think of saying, but I feel like nothing hits home harder to like somebody who cares about cars other than just this shit looks stock. I don't know if this is a compliment or an insult, but this thing looks like it just came off the trailer. Take that how you want, but uh, boom roasted. Next submission. Dude, what is this shit? A motorized steampunk dildo? I don't understand what the f*** goes through people's heads when they send me submissions. I mean, it's not a car, but I absolutely had to include this in my video. I don't know if people just send me random pictures of shit while they were outside walking around. I don't know if this is somebody's actual whip or whatever, but, uh, I mean, what the hell, dude? I, I mean, I can't even, I can't even roast what I don't know. But, uh, next submission, what the f***, guys? Yeah, hell yeah, we got a Volkswagen. Yo, it looks like somebody took their graduation gift to f***ing discount tire. Look at this shit. Look at those rims. You know, I probably can't talk shit. I actually don't know anything about Volkswagen. You know, I think I've never been in one and I've never owned one but uh you know I guess for probably a good reason you know because I'm actually a car guy but uh for it being a Volkswagen and me not know anything about it I mean it's you know it's just simple to oh shit what the f why do your taillights look gray is that plasti dip is that thing fast what the hell does it take 87 don't lie you know you put 87 in it. You know you don't pay for that premium. You know, I probably shouldn't talk that much shit. This guy in here is probably like smarter than all of us, you know, because riding around in that, I know he's doing it for safety reasons because you're never going to get an STD in that motherfucker. That's for sure. Shit, you don't even have to worry about giving people rides in that thing. Nobody wants to get in it. Damn, you almost had me there, bro. I see what you're doing. Keep up the good work. Yo, this is like a classic Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man meme. Here we have two blue SRTs with four doors. Like what the hell's going on here? Except for like one Spider-Man's like a midget, but then the other one's faster. I mean, I don't know what car would be fast here. I don't know. The Neon looks fast. It's capable of insane power. And if you modded it, it's probably faster than the Charger. But if you kept it stock, then the Charger could be faster. I mean, these are like two identical cars, but they're not identical. I don't know what's going on. They both got a single hood scoop. Basically, these cars are alike in every way, but different. Like, what the hell did you send me here, man? I wasn't even going to roast this, but guys, think about it. Isn't that kind of weird? One is old, one is new, but they have like a shit ton of similarities. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe if you swap the headlights, nobody would notice. And this guy either has no kids because he has two cars or he has a shit ton of kids because he needs eight doors. I don't know what you're doing here with this optical illusion, but thanks for sending in your cars and f***ing up my brain. Next submission. Yo, what the hell goes through you guys' head when you send me shit? I need to start having rules on submissions. Like, what? This guy sent me a freaking farm truck, bro. How am I supposed to roast something that's been in the sun its entire life? I mean, am I even allowed to roast this shit? I mean, I can't, right? I'm gonna look stupid. Like, you sent this in, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna have Hey Yellow Fella roast it. Bro, do I look like a guy who knows anything about old ass farm trucks? I don't, bro. Like, there's only a couple things to be said about this truck. Number one, an indisputable fact is that if you drive a truck like this, you probably dip tobacco. And the second indisputable fact is that this photo has to be photoshopped. I don't know if you live near a museum where you could just take this picture, but I thought Fords went to the f***ing scrapyard when they were like four years old. Don't they all just like break and go to Ford heaven? Like, do I look like a joke to you? I didn't think Fords lasted this long. Like, what, what the hell is this, bro? Hey, mira, mira, es un tocuache. Wow. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. But somebody took their single cab work truck and put some f***ing rims and tires on it. Who am I kidding, man? I don't know enough about trucks and old Chevys to know that these aren't stock rims. I mean, I don't know if this guy is going for like a clean build or like a race truck. I'm not sure. At least it's not slammed to the floor. I gotta say that. At least it still looks like a truck. I mean, it's not like overly bad, but I certainly wouldn't turn my head if I passed it in traffic. I don't know about you, but a truck is a tool to me. And every time I see a truck slammed to the floor, I think, oh, useless. But in this case, I mean, I guess you could still use the bitch. So I guess he has that going for him. Good job on not completely destroying this vehicle yet. I'm pretty sure he's gonna slam it. I'll keep you guys updated if this guy submits in the future. Hell yeah, we got another scat pack. Oh look, he has Charger RT on his wall. Good thing he knows it's not an SRT. Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit. He has SRT wheels on it. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. He took his hood off. Wait a second, he put a Hellcat hood on? I don't know if he put stripes on right after this, but uh, I would definitely pay the extra money for stripes if I spent all the money to get a color matched Hellcat hood. And I mean, he's not an up badger, but why the hell does he have the boosted scat pack logo on there without a boosted scat pack? Never mind. I can't really hate on him. I guess everybody does that shit nowadays. And what the f man? Is this a full-on NASCAR? What's going on with all those stickers there? Yo, this car looks stock as shit besides the wheels. Where the hell did all those stickers come from? I know you have not been ripping up box after box after box to put those f***ing stickers on the car. Are you one of those people who gets an iPhone and puts the Apple sticker on your back windshield? What do you do? Get some DRLs and all of a sudden think you're some sponsored car that's killing the game? Let's be real, bro. Take those damn stickers off. Next submission. Man, I swear you guys want me to go to war with some of these submissions you guys are sending me. Do you know how many vehicles I've seen that look exactly like this? I mean, thank God it's still a useful vehicle. It's a lifted truck, which I mean, they're supposed to be, but it's just a damn Silverado with some aftermarket pieces on it, like mirrors and wheels and tires and other shit like that. Do you want me to make fun of a vehicle that makes up 80% of 
impound lots. You're gonna have a lot of people on my ass because I guarantee you there's a shit ton of people watching right now that own something like this. Start sending me unique stuff because this is unacceptable. Man, you guys love sending me scat packs. Oh my God, I mean, you even sent me this one right on the dealership lot. You're like, it's so stocky, can't roast it because then he's roasting everybody who just bought a stock scat pack. I mean, besides the obvious ring ring banana phone, this car is destroyed before you even drive it off that lot. Like, I hope you're not driving around like this. Look at the front bumper. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, this car needs to go to the scrap yard. Literally, they cannot replace the bumper from factory. They drilled in, they put the front plate on it. I think dealerships who do this shit should be shut down. This car is total dog. You have a front plate on. I mean, I know that's so generic to make fun of, and I've done it before, but like, holy shit, bro. When I bought my car, I went into the dealership and I told them not to put the front plate on. The day I was coming to pick up the car, they were literally trying to assault me. They were putting the plate on as I was walking in the dealership, yo. I had to I had to freaking, I was strapped up. I had to pull out a Glock 9 and tell that son of a bitch to put the drill down before I drilled his ass. Stop putting the front plate on. Oh my God, get a new bumper, please. Holy shit. I mean, I don't, I don't know if this is your car. I don't know if you took this at the dealership. I'm not sure, bro, but this car's totaled. Sorry, end of story. Oh, look, a stock photo of a Daytona. Wait, never mind. I think a guy actually owns this shit. I mean, what have you done to this car? Nothing, absolutely nothing. It looks like my car when I bought it, except, whoa, holy shit. Zoom in, is that, does that say fucking SRT on it? I'm gonna throw up. That's the smallest, shittiest looking SRT badge I've ever seen for one. Number two, there's not a single thing done to your car in number four, it's a Daytona, not a SRT. Oh my God, I own a Daytona. Daytona and I'm triggered that he did this shit. Yo, sell your car. You don't deserve to own this shit. If you're a Scat Pack owner or a Daytona owner or an SXT owner or anything that's not an SRT and you put an SRT badge on it, eat shit. It's probably obvious he sent me this knowing I was going to make fun of the SRT badge and whatever, but I mean, holy shit, man. Take that off. I don't know if he's doing it to be a troll or he genuinely thinks this is cool, but uh, you took a stock car and then just put shit on it. Thanks for making everybody else look bad. Good job. And wait, wait, wait. When I bought my car, it did not say 392 on the back. Did you take the extra effort to put an extra 392 badge on the car as if people don't know by looking at the fucking quarter panels. I swear everybody who buys a Scat Pack or a Daytona gets out of pocket like super fast after they buy the car. Like, oh my God, dude, this shit needs to be shut down. Next submission. Oh my God, finally something that's not a charger. I've never been so happy to see a stock Mustang in my life. Oh my God. You can definitely tell who my audience is by all the fucking charger owners, that's for sure. I mean, I don't know what this guy wants me to roast. He sent me a picture of a Mustang sold on the used car lot. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on here. Wait, 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 he included a sound clip. Let's have a listen. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad. I mean, other than he spilled some fucking antifreeze on the belt, but I mean, I mean, it sounds like a sounds like a V8 Mustang to me. Other than the fact that it's just like a stock ass Mustang with like you know probably the mids taken off or something like that. I mean, you know, uh, oh, fuck, I'm, I, I, I'm out of words at this point. Boom roasted. Next submission. Yo, before we get into the next submission, look, I got a meme for you guys. Check this out. I mean, am I wrong? Watch this. Watch this. Yo, look what this guy did to his car. What the fuck is this? What is this shit? Is this Fast and Furious fucking Mopar edition, bro? This guy went on eBay and was like you know what? Mm, let's go ahead and take canards. Yep, I'll take that. Side skirt stickers that run all the way along the side of my car. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Yep, okay, what can I upgrade here? What can I upgrade here? For the amount of money he spent on just random fucking upgrades on this car, he could have done his DRLs or done something else, or even bought a fucking Hellcat for that matter, but instead he just put Hellcat replica wheels on it. Never mind, you know what? They're probably real Hellcat wheels. What the hell do I know? But I mean, fact of the matter is that they're still on there. He got this outrageous custom hood on here. I mean, you know, I mean, it looks cool, but you know, I mean, make up your mind, you know, first of all, if you want purple or blue. I mean, he's got some blue with some purple accents. I mean, I, mean, I don't know what the hell's going on at this point. And who the hell blurred out this photo, bro? They cut the S in off of your car real quick. I want to point that out. <laughs> it says heavy boat. I like that. Well, it says powered by SRT. I mean, I like that. You know, at least he's not an up badger or a guy who puts SRT stickers on his car. No names mentioned. But I love how the SRT is bigger than the powered by and you can't hardly see it. Just SRT just stands out so well. That Scat Pack owner's claim to fame, I guess. It's always like, powered by SRT. I am digging those powder coated exhaust tips so it's giving me some muscle tuner channel vibes you know like from way back in the day where he was like I put blueberry in the car and wasn't tuned for it you know it's kind of like that shit. And if you look at the exhaust you can tell it's tinted blue there because I ran blueberry in it one time and it wasn't tuned for it. But other than that I guess it's got every eBay mod you can ever think of I mean look it's it's got the it's the back window uh, roof spoiler right there that's pretty good and just a bunch of other little shit like he just ran out of ideas on what to do and just started throwing stuff everywhere. Whatever your whip your preference 
preference, am I right? But where do we get to the point where this stops being a Charger and just starts being a Honda? Like, come on, guys. Stop this shit. Oh, yeah. Badass. A Ford Raptor. Oh, wait. Never mind. It's not the good one. Oh, man. You couldn't have got the V8 one? Oh, the V6 is faster. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, I don't give a shit. Don't make a badass fucking V6 truck. It can't be It can't be both, okay? It's either a V6 or it's badass. You know what I mean? You know, change my mind. You've got an EcoBoost truck. I mean, you know, in, in, in my eyes, you know, I mean, it, can, can it can it be called Raptor? I mean, it's not really a Raptor if it's vegetarian, right? I mean, like, wh what's a dinosaur? What's a dinosaur? A, a fucking Stegosaurus? Wait, those are strong, though. This is made out of aluminum. I don't know anything about Ford. Let's move on. Next submission. Yo, this guy wants to be yellow fellow so bad. Yo, yellow, that's not yellow, man. That's golden. Dude, I don't give a shit. It's another stock scat pack with a wrap. Get it out of my DMs. I mean, how can you roast a stock car? I'm not sure. You guys keep sending me them, so I'm just gonna keep roasting them. But, uh, you know, whatever floats your boat. I mean, literally. Everybody in here has a fucking charger. Next submission. Oh, here's something new. Here's an RT, SRT8. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Is there both? I'm, I'm not sure. Wait, what the hell? Okay, there's a Ram on the... Okay, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know anything about old Challengers, but uh, I mean, it's a 6.1 with some 6.2 Dreams. Look at those wheels. I mean, there's not much done to it, but I've seen this car around. You know, it's a fast boy. You know, I mean, there's some stuff done under the hood. Not much appearance-wise, but I mean, you know, it's just a, it's just an old uh, Dukes of Hazard wannabe. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little orange Challenger. I mean, just going off of pictures alone, I don't know what to say about it. It looks like a pretty basic build. I guess the only thing I could say is that this guy loves parking in the middle of public streets. I mean, unless you're like me and you like fast cars and you know this car was fast, which you would never know by the the appearances you're basically just stopping a stock challenger in the middle of the street i mean it looks like he was courteous about it though he took it out late at night you know uh hopefully not during this pandemic that's going on because uh motherfucker, we got curfew but i mean other than that uh whatever boom roasted next submission wow are you guys surprised that we have another stock scat pack at this point in the video neither am i wow you got some drls and some hellcat replicas bro you're like 99 percent of scat pack owners out there and i don't know about you bro it looks like some bulbs are out on your drls you know it's kind of like a christmas tree like this one doesn't light up oh shit now this one doesn't light up and then like half of your tree ends up lit up at the end of the year. And I can't really see what's going on in the back there. It looks like a wind restrictor, like one of those little LED signs you put below your back windshield that people can see. I mean, from what I can see, this is a stock 392. So, I mean, I guess you wasted money on that shit because nobody's going to be looking at that, bro. You're going to be getting gapped in that thing. And there I go. I just earned a dislike from every stock 392 owner and down. Good job. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. I know who could see the wind restrictor. Our next submission, look at this shit. Yo, we got an infinity here. Yo, peep that CarMax decal though, that shit's tight. Wait, 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 wait. Hoonigan? The only Hoonigan shit you did in this car was putting that fucking sticker on the back windshield. Oh my God, let's be real. Look at this thing. Yo, this is a gym. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me he has a Pickle Rick sticker on the window? This is golden. <laughs> it's, you know, that fits perfectly. This thing belongs in the fucking sewer. I'm sorry. Just kidding, no I'm not. You sent me a picture of a stock infinity. You should feel bad. Next submission. Wait, is this the same guy as earlier with the blue Daytona? Oh wait, it's not. Holy shit, this looks like one of our previous submissions. Wait a second. I mean, it's a stock Daytona. What am I gonna make fun of? But look at this wicker bill. I mean, I have a wicker bill, but bro, do you need that much aero? I swear to God, wicker bills just keep getting bigger and bigger on cars. One day, they're literally just gonna be a giant piece of fucking plastic that makes the car look like a turkey. Like, dude, do you need this much fucking aero? Like, what is going on here, bro? I told you guys that Chargers are the new Ricers. Oh, I mean, the front looks pretty clean, nice and stock. It's got some DRLs, you know, it's, it ain't got a lot going for it, but you know, I mean, it's it's not completely riced out. I mean, I guess just keep doing what you're doing with the front of the car, but I mean, oh, oh man, don't get any more arrow on the back. Like, holy shit, bro. Eventually that wicker bill, if it gets any bigger, it's going to be a wall behind your car. And then you're going to get to the front of your car. You're going to need to put a door in the bitch and have like a passcode you can put in so you can even see the front of your car. I mean, I'm pretty sure if that thing went down a steep enough hill, it'd pop willies. I mean, we love wicker bills, but holy shit, bro. This thing is like an airplane. Oh my gosh. Are you guys surprised? Look at that it's another stock scat pack with a f***ing wrap whoa this guy got some chameleon action going on with some srt reps no wait are they srt reps i don't know they could be reps i'm not sure but another scat pack with some srt wheels how beautiful i mean what is there to say guy tinted his windows he went crazy with some auto zone trim he's just chilling out no big deal fear the bee huh <laughs> okay i'm not even gonna say nothing about that but uh whatever moving on i mean it's just a stock scat pack with a wrap and nothing else going on you know like every other car in this video apparently, but I mean, it just looks like a love child between like me and a mood ring, I guess. But uh, good shit. Welcome to the club of uh, scat packs with wraps. Wait a second. Wait a second. Holy shit, guys. We got one last submission. One last submission. Oh my God. Guess what it is. We didn't have one last video. We didn't have one this video, but here it is, man. I mean, shit, last video barely had even a Camaro in it, but uh, you know, here we are today with a Mustang. Look how far we've come with this shit. Somebody needs to make a call somewhere, dude, because we just freaking struck gold right now. We just struck some gold. But before we get into roasting this Mustang, I want to take a quick second 
second to appreciate that Challenger sticker on the garage door. I wonder how that guy feels being parked next to two trash cans every day. No, but seriously, no, but seriously. I I, I think this guy didn't enjoy the look of his uh, stock, uh, you know, 5.0 from like uh, the 2016-2017 model, you know what I'm saying? I mean, nobody does, but uh, I mean, he had to go ahead and switch up the bumper there real quick to that Roush bumper. And I guess you could say, you know, he's a 5.0 with some GT350 Dreams, you know what I'm saying? He's, he went ahead and switched up the wheels on us, but uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I guess he's taking red bottoms to a whole nother level, but other than that, man, I really can't hate on this guy that much. I actually want to thank him for submitting a different car for once. I mean, holy shit, let's let's go ahead and uh, do something different this video and not roast this last guy because, you know, he did it. He, he did us a solid, you know, submitting this in here, you know, changing up the culture a little bit. I mean, holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. Is this thing on bags? Yo, look at that guy's wheel gap. Holy shit, it's like non-existent, bro. That thing definitely isn't making it over any bodies that it hits. But anyway, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say about this guy. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm switching the game up on you. You know what? I, I'm, I'm very happy you submitted this Mustang. I'm happy you're in this video. Um, you know, I can't say that for any Mustangs in the future that decide to submit their car because I'm going to roast the shit out of them. But you know what? Let's go ahead and give the first guy to ever submit his Mustang a quick round of applause. Thank you for changing the scene, bro. Thank you for changing the scene. Let, and remember, remember, if you want to submit your cars in the future, you, it, it could be any car. And just like that, we're done with this shitty video. I got to go ahead and go get an ice pack and put it on my lips because the muff is on fire. But either way, if you guys enjoyed the roast part too, I might get some hate on this bitch. But you know what? Guess what? Everybody that DM'd me these cars was begging to get flamed, and they did. I'm not a spiteful guy. I did my best. If you didn't get the roast you were hoping for, then, you know, I mean, do something else to your car for me to make fun of. But with that being said, we definitely had a lot of submissions this time, way more than last time. And if you guys didn't make the cut, I'm sorry about that. Be sure to submit your car in on the next roast, though, for a chance to be put in the video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. You guys need to drop me some video ideas because I'm running out. Holy shit, I'm tired of doing roast in my freaking room. It's not my normal content. If this video gets 150 likes, I will do a part three of this shit. I hate to keep ripping off Drew Peacock, you know, but, you know, your boy doing what he can for some content during this quarantine shit. I hope you guys are enjoying it, by the way. But that's enough talking from me. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a fat ass like on the shit. And if you guys want to stick around in the next crazy ass video, be sure to hit that sub button. With that being said, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.